I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Man, she's not in speech with nothing around you. Hey, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you got desires. I know. What's up, y'all? It's me, Slay, my Jordan. Big Jordan, the biggest, you know, the biggest smoke blower. Okay, period. I know y'all ain't seen my face in a long time because I be ugly when I be doing these intros. That's why you be seeing very much the hair, not me. But period, you gonna see me today because I'm looking good. Shout out to my girl, Mimi. On the haircut, okay, okay. Period, so today we, we gonna do something well, it ain't, I, I done did it before on my channel, but you know, I ain't did it in a while. And I know y'all like to see different stuff besides lace wigs. So, you know, we're going to do a different hairstyle. We're working with the company Wild African Hair. Let's see what's in the box. We got a thank you note. We got some duckbill clips. Oh, these are like strong ones too. We have a silk scarf that says Wild African. We have some tweezers, some miniature shears, scissors, um, and I think that's a razor. Okay, if I was gonna lace wig, this would've been perfect. Okay. And we got a rat tail cone that says my African, and I love the cones with the little tip right there because you get a very um, precise part. Okay, my African. Then we have this nice little silk bag. First of all, the packaging is A1. Like, the bag feels like, yeah. Let's see what we got, honey. Ooh, we got some bondage. Okay. So we have four bundles of natural color. 30 inches in straight. I'm gonna take out one of the bundles because I mean they all the same. So boom, here's the bundle. This is how full it is. I think that's pretty full for a 30 inch. Um, first thing I noticed out back is that it's full from the root to the tip. Like, no thing is, I love, I love that. Okay. It has a little coarseness to it, just a little. And when I say coarseness, I'm not talking about like the hair. The hair is silky straight, but it is not, um, it got like a little catch to it. I don't know how to explain it. Like you just, when you know the hair, like you know it got like a little catch to it. So yeah, this is gone. No weird smells. Let's see if it's shedding. I'm getting no. No shedding, period. So we got four of these bundles, and today I'm going to do a, I don't know if I'm gonna do a side part or a middle part. I think I'm gonna do a side part. We're gonna do a quick weave with leave out. You know, a little quick little style, but it's still late. I know it's summertime and it's getting hot. You don't want all this stuff glued to your forehead. Get you a quick weave, okay? I am gonna color these bundles jet black. As you can see, this is the natural color of it. As you can see, my hair is jet black right here, and this is like a little natural. This is like a natural number two. I think, yeah, like a level two. We're gonna color it jet black, and then we're gonna color um, the client, the models, we're gonna color her hair um, jet black as well, so it can all blend together. And yeah, it's nice talking to y'all. Comment below, tell me how y'all feeling. Check in with your boy. We're gonna get right into the video. All right, y'all. So we decided to do a side part today. So what I'm doing right now is just going ahead and parting her hair off. And we're going to do like a little curved side part. It's going to curve a little bit towards the back, as you can see. And now we're going to separate all the hair that we need for that leave out. And I'm going to show you guys how much I left out in just a second. Depending on the thickness and the length of your hair will determine like how much or how little you will leave um, out to cover your tracks. You just want to make sure that you have enough hair to cover your tracks. And also, since she wants to tuck her hair behind her ear, we're going to leave out some of the hair on the sides as well. And 
And now I'm taking an oil moisturizer cream just to give her hair some moisture um, underneath this style before I braid it down, you know. We still want to protect the natural hair underneath, y'all. You know, natural hair care up underneath these styles is so important because there is going to come a day and time where you're going to get tired of weave and you're going to only want to wear your hair. So take care of it, y'all. So for the breakdown, we're just braiding everything away from her leave out straight down and we're connecting each braid into one another. And as you can see now on this particular braid, I'm taking it down and I'm going to take it across the nape of the neck. And then we're just going to continue with that straight up and down pattern. Her braid now is now complete, and now we're just throwing her um her last braid to the rest of the braids. That way we don't have anything hanging or out of place. I like to use blunt thread because when my clients or whoever removes their installs, they know exactly what is thread and what is hair, so they don't cut their hair. Like it's blunt, so it's like very much clear as day, like this is the thread, you know. I just try to do little things like that to, you know, help. Because, you know, I'm not always the one who takes down the install. Matter of fact, 90, pretty much like 99% of the time, I don't take down my client's installs. They take them down themselves. So I just want to make sure that they're being as, you know, careful as possible. Because, like I said, we're trying to maintain that natural hair underneath. So now for my quick weave, I don't use Morning Glory, uh, that Grow Protect Solution stuff, the little brown stuff that y'all use. I don't use that. I just take some wrap strips. I cover all her braids. And then I'm going to cover the wrap strips with the stocking cap. And I'm going to sew that stocking cap down. I'm going to spritz that stocking cap. And boom, we're done. You will have no glue on your hair. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, you will have no glue on your hair whatsoever. All you will have to do to remove this quick weave is cut that blood thread off. And it's going to come off like a wig. You're going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> you don't have to sit up under no dryer for no 15 minutes for no gel to dry, for that for that morning glory to dry, none of that. Girl, just spray that spritz, blow dry for like two minutes real quick till the cap get hard. And boom, you start gluing. Simple, easy. And this is what my completed foundation looks like um, underneath my quick weaves. So now we're gonna take our Salon Pro 30 second glue. And what I like to do is I like to put the glue all along the track, you know, however much, you know, I can put on there. And I just paste it on the head and wherever it stops, I cut it. And I just continue to do that. That's the fastest method for me. And you know, when it feels comfortable. Uh, you don't have to do that method. You can measure the track first then cut it and then put the glue on and paste it on. Um, you can even measure two tracks at one time, cut it, put the glue on there and paste it down. Um, I know a lot of people in Florida do that method. Um, you just do whatever works for you. Just understand like, you know, you don't have to be in a rush for everything, especially if this is your first time. Like, please understand that speed is not the ultimate goal when you're completing a hairstyle, unless you're on a time schedule. Getting the style to look as best as possible, that's the ultimate goal.
And after gluing in each bone, I like to take my blow dry on high heat and um, I spray spritz on the track as well. Just to make sure like, you know, all the tracks are secure and you know, they're not going anywhere. And you know, I do like to use a lot of pressure with my hands, you know. I, I don't hurt the client, you know, it's just using a lot of pressure just to make sure their tracks are secure. Um, yeah. And once you get to the top, you're gonna start uh, curving your tracks at like an angle. That way the hair can kind of like fall in the face and give it fullness. And that way the hair is just not sitting on the side. Like, you know, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but you see how I'm curving it and how it's falling on her face some? That's what you want because if you just paste them right on top of each other, like, you know, in a brick layer pattern, like directly on top of each other, the hair is just gonna lay on the side and it's gonna look real, you know, like thin. So you wanna like curve it some. Just look at what I'm doing, cause I'm pretty sure me talking about what I'm doing is sounding so confusing. <laughs> so now we're down to our last track. Make sure you um, paste that track as close to the leave out as you can. Once you get done, you're gonna spritz that part of the track and blow dry it on high. Once I blow dry that last track, I do like to sit my clients underneath a hooded dryer on high for about five minutes just to make sure like all those tracks are secure. You know, there's no wet spots and everything is just in there and laid. My clients will tell you, baby, my quick weeds last just as long as my sewing. They are not going anywhere. And when you're ready for it to go somewhere, it's not going to take your hair out with it. <laughs> So that's why I love, I love the method of how I do quick weave. Um, I, um, the name for it that I've noticed, people call it a glueless quick weave because the glue is not touching your natural hair. Um, I don't know why we, they would call it a glueless quick weave, but they call it a glueless quick weave, baby. <laughs> I just call it a quick weave. <laughs> so now we're going to take our hot comb and I do press the roots. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I do run that hot comb through them roots a couple of passes because you know i'm trying to get it real straight but when it comes time to actually press the leave out with the flat iron i only 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 do one pass and before i even put the flat iron on the hair i'm going to use my cheese hook infusion just to you know give that hair some luster and to protect it from the heat y'all please do not be pressing y'all leave out every single day like girl you would get heat damage so quick i don't care how healthy your natural hair is you cannot be pressing your hair every single day that's why me as a stylist i like to go in and really like get that thing pressed out and i spritz it down once i'm done that way you don't have to even touch it no more for real After I press each piece of the leave out, I like to take my carrot hair wax stick on the roots and you know, drag it down a little bit. And then I just comb everything into place. This just makes blending so much easier. Like as you can see, it just blended right on into that thing. Um, a lot of people uh, put the wax stick on the leave out before they press it. You could do that as well. Um, I typically don't put the wax on first because um, I kind of be feeling like it be cooking the hair because <laughs> like it's an oil, you know, wax base. So I don't really feel like it protects from heat really. Um, so I, I use it at the end to, you know, like, you know, make everything blend. I don't really use it as a heat protectant. However, what works for you, works for you. If you want to put it on before you can, if you want to put it on after you can, if you want to do it before and after you can, <laughs> just do what works for you. I'm just giving y'all some of the tips of what I do.
So now I'm going to take my spritz and we're going to spray that all over the leave out. You know, comb everything the way you want it to lay. And then we're going to use our blow dryer to lock that into place. Um, I don't spray a lot, a lot of spritz because it'll be like real crunchy and real hard. And, you know, you may not like that. And then again, you may want that. So, you know, the more spritz, the more harder your leave out will be. Um, but, you know, my type of vibe, if y'all haven't noticed, like I love super neat hair but i still like it to have like a softness or like a little i won't say messiness i just like i like super neat hair but a little soft just a little soft and now i'm pressing out that hair using my beyond the zone turn up the heat spray i already know how i do and then we get to the top i'm gonna use my beyond the zone heat spray turn up the heat spray and i'm gonna also use some hairspray just so when i pressed it it just all blends together. But that I only use the Beyond the Zone and the hairspray um, when I'm at the top where the leave out and the tracks are meeting. Um, other than that, I just use the Beyond the Zone all the way through. Make sure you lightly spray and spray from a distance because spraying too close, your hair will be oily. And don't say I made you mess up your tracks. <laughs> spray it from a distance. Y'all, get into these bundles. Like, when I tell y'all this is the best set of bundles I've used on my YouTube channel, period. When I say period, I mean period. Like, I'm not even hyping them up, y'all. This is the best set of bundles I've ever used on my YouTube channel. Like, I don't, I don't think y'all understand, like, how much I love these bundles. Like, it was giving raw hair quality, like, the way it swing, the luster, the feel, like, it just feels like real hair. Like, girl. So, shout out to my African, y'all. Y'all got to get y'all some bundles. So, what I'm doing for her edges, I just curled them upwards using a mini flat iron. And I took my even spray, the red one, spread it on my edge brush, and just slick her edges back into place. I don't use edge control anymore because it um, creates the buildup over time. And it can revert your edges. So, I just like to use a hairspray or spritz and you know, call it a day. Y'all get into this hair like, get, look at that shine, look at that shine, look at the movement. Girl, throw the hat back. Show them what you're working with, honey. Y'all gotta get y'all some bundles from Wild African and let them know that big Jordan sent you. Period. Make sure you check the description box for the link to purchase this hair. I got more dope content coming soon. Love y'all. Goodbye.